What's up fellow travelers, hope all is well, and today we are visiting my hometown of Gatineau, Quebec. Gatineau is the fourth largest city in the entire province of Quebec, and was created in 2002 thanks to the fusion of five different cities, Elmer, Hall, Gatineau, Massawangie, and Buckingham. While Gatineau offers so many fantastic activities, today we're going to be doing some of the best ones that are free, which means you can do them and use the money you saved by enjoying a delicious bite to eat in some of the downtowns. To start our day off, we're here in Buckingham, which is on the far eastern side of Gatineau, where you can go on an amazing walk in the center of the city on La Rivière Rivière, and enjoy not only a few dams, but also views of some rapids. So with that, let's go check it out. It was a morning in June when I heard that tune Falling up to the beat of your heart Like a white rain sails from a startled trail Our eyes met and then landed so well So Buckingham has a very similar history to the rest of Gatineau. That is, in the beginning of the 19th century, this town was developed nobly for the forest industry. You have to understand that in the beginning of the 19th century, there was a war going on in Europe, and there was a high demand, especially for wood, because back then, boats were made out of wood. Today, there's still that remnants of it, notably the industries are still present. And this walk that we're doing is really great because while you're in the downtown, there's tons of plaques and history lessons you can take in. Now we're gonna head to Gatineau, where you have the Dalton Park. And by the way, guys, I am really stoked about this. I've been wanting to go to Dalton Park for so long. Nestled in the Gatineau sector, you'll find the amazing Dalton Park. I've never been here. And before coming here today, I did some research last night just to figure out a little bit about this place. And what's so intriguing is while you're here, you think all these buildings are original from the early 20th century. The reality is, is they're freshly made thanks to the efforts and work of volunteers and the financing from city and in partners. This place has been built to replicate what agricultural life was back in the days in Gatineau. This place is worth coming all year round, whether it be during the summer of its floral expositions or during the winter, it's nice, charming look and the lights. I mean, it's really exceptional. And it gives you a completely different vibe from the city life. It allows you to escape and it's not too far from the center of Gatineau. With that, we're now gonna head to Downtown Hall and check out a completely different environment. After a really short drive, we arrive here in the downtown of Gatineau in Hall, right behind the Canadian History Museum, where you get some of the best views of the Parliament of Canada. Hall, like many downtowns in North America, has known a process of industrialization as well as deindustrialization. And while at the end of the 20th century, there was a lot of questions about how will the downtown survive, in the last couple of years, the city of Gatineau has been investing in its local art scene to revitalize its core. Notably by turning these dingy gray concrete walls into beautiful canvases by inviting local artists as well as internationally renowned known artists. Today we're going to go walk around the town and check out these amazing pieces of art. So with that, let's go for a walk. After having a really enjoyable time in the downtown, checking out those pieces of art, and some of them, what's really cool, they represent our history, which is even more special to us and for tourists that want to learn a little bit more about the region. Now we're going to head to the last sector of our visit, and that is Elmer, where there's a few hidden gems we're going to be visiting today. One of the 
first stops we're doing here in Elmer is visiting the Shine Rapids ruins. These ruins date back to the late 19th century where essentially there used to be a dam and powered a mill. When the mill burnt down the dam became a hydro dam and now today you have remnants of that dam through the ruins. Unfortunately the government is planning on destroying these ruins but we really don't know when that's actually going to happen. So definitely come and visit them when you have a chance. These ruins can be visited all year round thanks to a walkable path that brings you essentially along the Udway River and this goes literally from Elmer all the way to Ottawa if you follow it. Now we're going to head to the Principal Street in Elmer but we're going to walk down and go to the Elmer Marina. So the last stop of our day is here on the Principal Street of Elmer. Now you're probably wondering why am I here? Number one, because there's some fantastic restaurants which we won't check out today because I want to do a proper food tour in the future when we can actually go in the restaurants after all the COVID restrictions. But there's some great heritage buildings that are well preserved thanks to the efforts of locals such as the British which was built in 1834 and housed dignitaries as well as royals and the Obel Shims which we're heading to right now which is near the marina where you can enjoy fantastic views of the Uri River. Waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by so one of the most important heritage buildings in Elmer is the Obel Sims, which is at the end of the Principal Street near the marina. Built in 1831, this place housed travelers on their way to their next destination that need to stop over before getting their steamboat up the river. When visiting the Auberge, I highly recommend you check out the marina. Why? Because not only will you get fantastic views of the Uri River, but also you can enjoy some of the best sunsets in the entire region. Now we're gonna head back up Prince Bow Street and go check out a Christmas market which is starting tonight in the main square of Elmer. And there's no better way to start your Christmas shopping than supporting local stores who need us more than ever. Well guys, I must say I had an absolute blast in Gatineau. I mean, I know it's my hometown, but this video teaches us all that sometimes you can rediscover your town and discover completely new things to do because we don't always take the time to do it. With that guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode and if you did, hit the subscribe button down below for more travel tips, tricks and vlogs on a weekly basis and also follow me on Facebook because I upload weekly travel content and keep you up to date on my travels. With that guys, I'll see you next Sunday at 11am for all new travel episode and with that, don't forget, say travels. <laughs>